September marks the beginning of the fall feast of Yahuwah, starting off with the Feast of Trumpets in Leviticus 23.23, which states, And Yahuwah said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, On the first day of the seventh month you are to have a day of rest, a sacred assembly commemorated with trumpet blast. Do no regular work. Trumpets, or Yom Teruah, is on the first day of the seventh month of Tishri. The spring feast of Passover were fulfilled with Messiah's death, burial, and resurrection. And the fall feast are a rehearsal of a prophetic future event that we are to prepare ourselves for the expectation of the return of Messiah when he fulfills the shadow picture and returns on this day as the conquering, reigning king, fulfilling his role on earth as both king and priest. And that is why we are commanded to observe the feast every year, because the book of Revelation depicts the fulfillment of the fall festivals. This feast is also known as Rosh Hashanah, meaning head of the year, because it is the anniversary of the creation of the world. This was also the time to bring all your tithes to the temple for the widows, orphans, and the Levite priest. Over these next 10 days, the wheat was brought in to the threshing floor and separated from the shaft, symbolic of the future event of the harvest of souls at the first resurrection and the rapture, spoken of by Paul in 1 Thessalonians 4.16, saying, For Adonai himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of Elohim. And the dead in Messiah will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet Adonai in the air. Yeshua also spoke of this day after the great tribulation in Matthew 24, 31, saying, And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather his elect from the four winds and from one end of heaven to the other. This two-day feast begins at a day and hour no man knows, which is a Hebrew idiom spoken of by Yeshua in Matthew 24, 36. I'm Bill Sanford, wishing you a joyous Feast of Trumpets.